In this video, I'm going to show you creating and collapsing folders in Reaper. Now, most of the features I'm going to show you in this video are for Reaper 7. If you're using an older version, many of this won't work for you. But the purpose of this video is for creating and collapsing folders. We're not going to go into too much depth on folders in general. But as a quick review, I have a project set up here with some drums, bass, and guitars. Let's say we wanted to create a folder for the drums. We can create a new track, put it at the top. Let's name it drums. And if you want to put all these drums in this track and make it a folder, we could hit this folder button. Now all these tracks are in this folder. When we go to the end of the drums, hit this button twice. Now just the drums are in this folder. So if we solo it, we're going to hear all the drums. As a group, or if we mute it, we'll mute all the drums. We could adjust the volume of the drums as a group right here, or we could add effects to the drums as a group right here. Let's go to my effects chain and add a filtered mod, which sounds like this. Notice it affects all the drums as a group. And that's the purpose, or one of the purposes, of a folder. But if you don't want to create a group, with these buttons over here. Instead, we can just select all the drums, right click it, go to move tracks to folder, and choose new folder track. And that does the same thing with one step. Now we can name it, and we have a drums folder. And if we wanted to add tracks to this folder, we could right click them, let's right click the base. Go to Move Tracks to Folder, and instead of creating a new folder track, we can just add the bass to the Drums folder, as our current folders will show up in here. And it puts it at the top. Let's put it down here. Now the bass is in the Drums folder. We can move it back out, and instead, we could have just dragged it into here to add the bass to the Drums folder. Let's take it back out. Now we could also do this with actions. Let's delete this track. Let's go to the actions menu, show action list, and type into the filter folder. And we can see all the actions that could be used with folders. So we could select all the drums. We could choose to move tracks to new folder, double click it, and that does the same thing. So we could assign a keyboard shortcut to do that if you prefer. Now we could also adjust the collapsed state of our folder, as folders could also be used for organizing our tracks and adjusting their size within their group. If we go up here to this arrow, right now our tracks are normal. Hit it once. Now they're small. Hit it again. And now they're collapsed. Hit it again for normal, small, and collapsed. But we could change the different options that show up with a preference. Let's go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, and we can scroll down under appearance to track control panel. And right over here controls the different cycles of our folder. By default, we get normal, small, and collapsed, but we can change it to normal, small, and hidden. Hit apply. And now if we hit this button, we get small, hit it again, and now we get hidden. Cycle again to normal, small, and our tracks are hidden, which is a new feature in Reaper 7. But we could also choose just normal and collapsed. And we just get two positions, normal and collapsed, or normal and hidden. And we just get two positions, normal and hidden. And we could cycle through this with an action. Go back to our actions list on the folder. And right over here, we could cycle through the folder collapse state. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut. 
And now I could select this folder, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it switches to hidden or back to normal. If we go to our preferences, we could put it back to its default and switch through those instead. Normal, small, and collapsed. Or switch through these, normal, small, and hidden. And we could choose any options we want and trigger it with that keyboard shortcut. Let's put it back to the default. Now there's also a preference for what happens when we drag our tracks. Let's make this a normal track. Normally, if we grab our tracks and drag it up, it's gonna change the order of our tracks. But if we put it in the middle towards the right side, notice the cursor changes to a folder icon, letting us know if we drop it now, it's gonna create a folder like that. And that's gonna happen in the middle over here. Also, if we drag it on the folder icon. But anywhere else, it'll change the order of our tracks. And we can see that if we look at a cursor. This will change the order, and this will create a folder. But we can adjust the target of this feature. Let's scroll down in our preferences under editing behavior to mouse. And right over here are the options for this feature. By default, it's over the middle, right, or over the folder icon, but we could change it to the left side or the folder icon. So now, if I drag it up, it's gonna change the order of our track, but if we go to the left side, it's gonna create a folder. Or if we drag it on top of the folder icon. But we could also choose to just do the folder icon. So now, if we drag it up here, so it's gonna change the order of our tracks. But if we drag it over the folder icon, it's gonna create a folder like that. But the last option is for those of us who never wanna accidentally create a folder by dragging. We could choose only when the shift key is pressed. And now, no matter where we drag our tracks, they're not gonna create a folder. Notice the icon never changes unless we hold down the shift key. Hold it down, and now, no matter where we drag it, it's gonna create a folder. Now you wanna hold the shift key at the end, because if you hit it now, it might deselect your tracks. So select them first, drag it over the area, then hold down the shift key, and now we're creating a folder. Let go, and we're not, we're just changing the order of our tracks, Hold it down again, and now we're creating a folder, just like that. But the default is over the middle right or over the folder icon. But we can change this to any preference you prefer. So that's pretty much it. That's creating and collapsing folders in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.